Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is George Kakavos, and I am a product manager and an engineer for CyberPower Systems, a global leader and manufacturer of UPS systems, inverters, relevant accessories to power management solutions. Today, I would like to help you to choose the proper UPS system for your home or small home office environment. There are many considerations out there when it comes to such a decision and uh, frankly the choices can be overwhelming and most of the time confusing. I will make a very quick presentation as to the most important factors you should take into consideration in choosing such a system and during a later time we can elaborate more for each of these terms. So, how to choose the right UPS for home or Soho? A major consideration is the form factor. Do you want something to be a floor standing or a desk standing tower? Do you want something to be a brick type with multiple outlets on top? Something that can even be wall mountable? Or do you want some other type of form factor like a rack? A very quick overview of different form factors is on this uh, photo of different products. This is a brick type, which is also wall mountable. This is a desktop or a floor tower type. This is a regular tower type that you can also use uh, on a desk or on the floor. This is a rack type system, which goes with rails inside a rack. Another form factor is the load, and that's a very crucial point. UPSs are rated mostly in volt amperes, followed by the watt capacity for these volt amperes. The relationship between volt amperes and watts uh, is known as the power factor of the UPS. For example, you might see a UPS out there, which is 1,000 VA volt amperes, and it's actually 600 watts. What you have to make sure is the equipment you connect to your UPS does not exceed uh, 600 watts else you will have problems and these problems may result in damaging your UPS system via an overload. The runtime requirement is also very important. Okay, let's say if you want to have UPS with 200 watts load and you select the proper type of form factor you want, how much do you want to sustain 100 or 200 watts? For how long? So this actually constitutes the runtime. And normally you should think about the average load for critical devices you want to maintain during a power outage. The next factor is called sockets. What kind of sockets do you want to have on a UPS? Do you want sugar sockets, which are common for household or office, which in this case, if you're choosing a home or office UPS, a small office UPS probably makes sense. There are other types of sockets, depending on the region you are. Like in the UK, you have British type outlets. In uh, uh, Belgium or France, you have the so-called French type outlet. Um, in uh, USA, you have NEMA type outlets. Uh, and a very common outlet for uh, most of professional UPS systems is called IEC type. For a home or office UPS, a small office UPS, you need a Shuko outlet or the equivalent uh, of Shuko to depending on your region. The next point is related to budget. How much money you want to spend for a UPS? Of course, as little as possible, but uh, there are many considerations you have to take into account before you make that decision. The budget refers also to the total cost of ownership for the UPS. Does this UPS need service? If yes, how often? Does it uh, consume a lot of power that will run up your electricity bill more than you would like? Does it have a limited lifespan? Is it easy? in terms of overall serviceability. Then you come to the price performance. You might find something which is a little bit higher in terms of cost that you would like to pay, but it has a lot of interesting features. It is a good brand and it has high quality components inside that will help to increase the lifetime of the UPS and give you a peace of mind. That's something worth to consider. A very, very important uh, Consideration for which we will talk separately is the power signature output during battery mode. During AC mode, when you have the grid power operating, all UPSs are pretty much similar and the only factor of determination is the load. However, when you run into battery mode, then you have to take into consideration the type of equipment that you use together with your UPS. It cannot be a motor it cannot be a computer with an active power factor correction power supply. 
which requires uh, a pure sine wave output. A pure sine wave output on your UPS will run the cost of the UPS very high. So when you come to consider the type of UPS system you need in terms of power, signature, output, you must know if you're going to be running active PFC power supplies or motors on your UPS. This will decide the type of signature output you need during battery mode. The normal simulated power output will not work with active PFC power supplies or high speed motors or even hi-fi audio systems will have some noise distortion. The next factor is the operating noise. <laughs> some people don't mind because the UPS is sitting somewhere in the corner. Some other people mind because if you have something for backing up your home cinema system, for example, or you are in a quiet office environment, you don't want something that generates uh, in a, a lot of noise. So you have to take that into account. The next important power factor uh, to consider when you select a UPS is serviceability. So service and support, battery type that is used inside your UPS and ease of battery replacement. In principle, you want to choose something that uses a standard market battery type for UPSs, easily available, and something preferably that you can replace the battery yourself. So this will make serviceability uh, a little bit easier for you for the future. Last is the completeness of documentation and accessories. Make sure you have everything you need inside the packaging in order to operate and connect the UPS to various devices, including the management of your computer. Can I have all of the above into one unit? Yes, the answer is yes. And we have at CyberPower a whole bunch of systems that will do all of the above, and some are highly recommended, providing the best possible price performance that take into consideration all the features I just mentioned. Thank you very much for your attention, and I uh, will come back to you soon uh, elaborating more on these uh, technical issues. Thank you.